it was great in the beginning, but I don't know. It's just not fun anymore. Um, Good morning. What is it? I'm gonna put the banana in our smoothies. Okay. What? What is it? Monday? Today? Monday? Yeah. Today? I think today's Monday. Today's Monday. Um. So, I went for my walk this morning. I did three miles, and uh, for dinner, are those having that pork belly? Uh, blood pork belly thing and then I'm making some lentils I'm making coconut curry lentils um, I'm actually gonna put some chicken sausage in it as well so I'm gonna be making that I'm using one cup of red lentils and I'm going to rinse those and then I'm going to make this dish and I'm pretty much winging it I just watched a bunch of videos so I'm not really following a recipe but I am going to kind of do what I've seen and throw my own take on it. So I was going to use curry, like the cubed curry that you buy like in the store. But I'm going to use curry powder instead because that shit is too spicy. I like spice, but I don't like it that much. Um, so that's what I'm having. And I'm going to have it with some balsamati rice. And then I'm going to make some jasmine rice for Samantha and... Um, Arlo and maybe Austin if he wants some. I don't know. But that's what's happening here. I feel like having something like warming and lentils. I've always loved lentils. My dad has always made really good lentils. So I'm making more of an Indian dish. So we'll see how it comes out. Like I said, I'm just winging it. So I've got tomato paste. I've got... Uh, crushed tomatoes and I've got all of the spices that I need turmeric and cumin and all of the goods so I'm gonna be doing that and I don't have coconut milk but I do have unsweetened coconut cream which I'm fine with anything coconutty at this moment so we'll go rinse these out and then do all that I mean I am gonna make breakfast first though finally my avocado is not is ripe I'm going to use half of it for breakfast today and put it on some sourdough toast with an egg on top. And then the other half I'm going to actually throw in my curried lentils later, like on top. So that should be good. Now are those having a, like a McGriddle? I'm going to make a Kodiak pancakes and she'll have that with an egg and a half a piece of sausage on each of those. That's it. That's what's happening today. Not a lot. I, uh, it was very mild when I walked today because I know that it's supposed to be in the 60s today. So I shut the heat off and give it a break. Anywho, let me get going. I want to make a protein shake. I'm having the chocolate quest with some banana and strawberry. So we'll see how that comes out. All right, so here's my breakfast. It's um, a homemade McGriddle. Uh, these are Kodiak cakes, egg, uh, half a sausage patty because they're very calorie dense. And then there is my mm, protein shake, syrup, all over it because, yeah. And I will probably put a little bit more on there too. There you go. I already took a couple of bites, but this is mine. Got some avocado, everything but the bagel seasoning. I've got uh, two slices of ham on each, a half a slice of cheese on each, and one egg, and look at that. Oh, there's that. Okay, I wanted to show you my lentils. There they are. I am so excited to have this. So I have that with some balsamati rice. Balsmati. This is jasmine rice for Arlo. This is Arlo's dinner. Broccoli. I will be having broccoli too. Some butter and then her pork belly and 
um, six ounces of rice, and that's it. That's what's happening. Right, Chloe? Right, George? Yeah. So I'm making the goods. You already know what that is. Some Nespresso, and I usually do four shots, which is two pods, because I do two big shots in here per each pod. So, and then I'm going to get what I normally like to put in my Nespresso, well, espresso, which is some heavy whipping cream, only like a drop of that. And then I use, hold on, this is Samantha's damn coffee. She always leaves it in there without a freaking cover, and I'm always afraid I'm gonna knock the damn thing over. And then I use this, always. So good, either that one or the extra creamy. Um, I also really like this one. So, those are the only two, um, oh, oat milks that I actually like. So what I do is give this a good shake. Try to open it with one hand. Pour it into my frother. About right. I use more oat milk than I do anything else. I took a shower um, because I had a really long walk this morning. I think I did a little three miles L little over three miles very little over but I did walk a long way so I walked and then I cooked and then you know how when you're in the kitchen and you're cooking for so long you start smelling like the food I don't want to smell like the food so I showered put some comfy PJs on I'm gonna sit my happy ass down and I'm gonna watch some television by myself this morning on Instagram I was talking about how I don't know, I feel like when the kids are older, I mean, obviously this happens with everybody. This isn't just something that's going on with me. But when your kids get older, I feel like that the holiday, I'm a very holiday um, person, especially Christmas. Like Christmas is my go-to. I love it. I wait all year for it. I am like Mrs. fucking Claus, um, truly. I can't wait to play the music. I can't wait to decorate. I can't, the holiday spirit just gets me in such a great mood and it just makes me feel really good because I stress out a lot of the times during the other parts of the year, especially the summer because the weather sucks. Um, so Christmas time is just like my time and I just feel like the kids are just not into it as much as obviously that they ever were, but it sucks. I wish people, I mean, I don't want everybody to be like me. They're not going to be like me. But I do want everybody to kind of like enjoy this time of year. You get one life. One. Just one life. And I want to enjoy that life. And I want to enjoy Christmas and all the things that come along with it. But I feel like I'm alone on this one. Like I really am. I mean, even Arlo is very bah humbug. Anyway. Um, so here it is. It doesn't make it super frothy, but it does make it nice and hot. And that's what I like. So there's my, oh, you know what I need to go do? I've got to go edit a video. What am I talking about trying to watch TV? I gotta edit because you guys like these videos and you guys are, we're getting a lot of positive feedback on here from you guys. You guys are happy that we're back to vlogging and I want to kind of keep that going, you know? So, well, let me go edit. <laughs> this way Arlo can put a video up tomorrow. And then I will sit down and watch, whoa. Then I will sit down and watch some television. But, I kind of just wanted to talk about that. It kind of makes me like bummed out a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of bummed. I'm bummed about it all. And let's, let's be real, like, Yes, I know, like, whenever I have grandkids, if I ever have grandkids, like, I know things were going to be, like, you know, the magic will be back. But I don't want to wait till then. I want the magic to be here right now and then. I don't know. I just cleaned my thing out. Anyway, let me go edit. It was nice talking with you and about this. And that's all. See ya. Good morning. No, afternoon. Sorry, I'm confused. Uh, oh, I look crazy. We just got back from Walmart. I needed it. 
Ooh, excuse me. I needed to get some more sweatpants, so I did. And we got a couple of other things. I'll show you what they are once I get them out on the counter. Um, could you stop? And yeah, that's all. Uh, we had like a little snack in the car. We were hungry. So we had a bowl of oatmeal this morning. And I was like, oh, that should be enough until we have dinner tonight because we're going out to the diner with our friends to have dinner. But then I was like, we were in Walmart and I was like, fuck man, that wasn't enough. <laughs> it really wasn't. Like it was a small bowl of oatmeal. So, um, yeah, I got, we got uh, some beef jerky, some string, string cheese, and uh, these gluten-free crackers. And, um... Hard boiled eggs. So we were snacking on that in the car just to kind of like hold this over until later. So anyway, I will check. I will show you what we got from Walmart. All right, here it is. Let me show you what we got. So this is what we were eating in the car. We only had a couple, but they're good. These are grain free sea salt crackers. The brand is late July. Very good. I found this in the gluten free section. So, and then we were snacking on some hard boiled eggs. These are only 60 calories a piece. It's crazy because sometimes eggs are 70, but I guess it all depends, right? I had three of those because I was starving. Um, I got this uh, beef jerky. Arlo got this one we were snacking on. And then we each had one piece of string cheese, which was only 50 calories per string cheese, which is amazing. So this is the one we opened. So she had one, I had one. So I got, this is mostly for Sam's lunch. Uh, two of those, sliced provolone for me, sauerkraut for me, garlic hummus for the both of us. Arlo likes hummus too. I've been loving this with cucumber. It's been bomb. I've always loved hummus, but for some reason I'm on a kick like recently. Um, some creamy unsweetened cashew milk for our protein shakes. Uh, shredded lettuce for me. I don't know. I just like shredded lettuce when I make like these big ass chicken bowls. Um, some ham. We got some hamburger buns for Austin and Samantha when they have like burgers or whatever. Uh, we found this Arnold Keto bread. We'll try it, see what it's like. We'll let you know if it sucks or not. You already know we love these immunity shots. We found a bunch of new ones. Hot dogs for Arlo. We got some turkey breast, mystique, whatever it's called. Some salami, some shredded Velveeta. Half and half heavy whipping cream. Um, these are for the piggies, little cookies. If that's for the dogs, uh, that's for the dogs. These are for the tree. Italian sweet cream is for Samantha. She's been making coffee lately. Uh, sugar free menthol cough drops, just you know, have to have in the house. This is mine. This is the only deodorant I will use, is the clinical strength secret. Um, we also got some face wash. We love that. It's the day and night. We just use it whenever. Uh, paper plates, egg whites for myself, more egg whites. I got this for me. Smart Balance, whatever, whatever, butter. It's not real butter, obviously. Uh, breaded chicken breast patties for Austin. Meatballs for the kids. No. Uh, what is this called? Donuts. Donuts, not for us, obviously. Milk for them. That's for Sam. She's been wanting cold brew. Um, Arlo got this. Do you guys remember when Arlo used to love the white chocolate raspberry? Well, she found it. So she's going to have coffee with a little bit of that in there. Uh, kids, rigatoni, and a shit ton of eggs. And then Arlo got a winter coat. I went there for one too, but they didn't really have shit for women. And even the men's section, I didn't like any of the coats. So I didn't get, I didn't get anything. I got two two pairs of sweatpants I think two or three no two two pairs of sweatpants so whatever it is what it is I wanted other things but Walmart fucking blows around here doesn't matter which one I go to they all suck anyway I'm gonna put you down and put this shit away and give the dog a cookie you want a cookie ma <laughs> Are you wanting one? You knew I had it. You, you knew I had that cookie. You've been waiting for it forever in a day. You're licking your chops. You haven't even tasted it yet. Are you waiting for it too? 
Yeah, you too. Yeah? Okay, let's let's get it. So I bought this cute shirt. I love it. And Walmart. I'm gonna shower so this is not the way I want to look. Um but it was nine dollars and Arlo found it online for eleven. It's originally fourteen or thirteen. So Walmart, this time and true. I love, love, love it. And I got an extra large so that's like oversized because I want to wear it with leggings and then you know, you know, you don't want all your shit showing. It's so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna take an immunity shot. This is probiotics. So I'm gonna down that right now. I guess that will work. Here we are, making coffee. There we are, in my cute little happy howl days. Can you see it? So cute. Um, so I just went for my walk, three miles. I do three miles every day. Um, I'd love to do more, but it's a little cold out. So I get at least three miles in, which I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a routine now um, to have it. So they say it takes a little while to um, get a habit going. So I got a habit going. So that's good, right? I'm going to add some skinny syrup to this. I just use three and a half pumps of, uh, I think it's cinnamon vanilla. So that's what I'm putting in here. And this is, I'm craving coffee right now. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to tell you guys that our store is closing. Our Etsy shop that we um, had opened, it's been open about a year. Um, it was great in the beginning, but I don't know, it's just not fun anymore. Um, also, it's for the amount of time and effort and um, kind of like, F, not effort, but the money that you put into it, like for inventory, for packaging, for different machines, because, you know, we don't only use a heat press, you know, there's, there's all kinds of other things involved besides that. Um, it's just not worth it to us. So we are selling all of our stuff. We have a lady coming. Um, she's coming from Pennsylvania, actually. Arlo was in contact with her last night. She is going to be buying one of the machines that we have and a bunch of other inventory that she would like. So, yeah. It's a sad situation, but it's like, it's sad, but it's not. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay. One door closes, another one will always open. That's how I think. It takes up a lot of room. And then Arlo is a clutter bug. So... There's just, there's just, there's stuff everywhere. I mean, the lady's gonna buy all those shirts. The heat press has to go as well. Every, all of this has to go. Um, it just does. Like I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> Let's be fucking honest. I'm over it. Um, so, that's it. And I mean, we'll get our window back. See our window right there? I have all my succulents and stuff right on the sill. Can't even see the goddamn things because it's covered by boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and it's just like I mean she's got like all the vinyl on the wall she's got that uh, there's just too much stuff it's gotta go it's gotta go and it's going so I'll show you what the lady's buying um, I'll give you kind of like an overview see all that stuff here all of that she's coming to pick up Now we're in the car. Went from the coffee to the car. To the car, to the coffee, to the coffee, to the car. Uh, so, Arlo's gonna go buy some contractor bags because like I told you guys before, uh, we're selling all of our inventory and stuff, so she has to pack up um, shirts and we don't have anything for her to put the shirts in. So, and this woman is coming almost four hours away. <laughs> Oh God, that's a long trip, but hey, you know, you travel anywhere if you really want things, so. So that's what's going on today. Um, so all, like the surveyors. Yeah, when I was walking, there were surveyors um, not too far from our house, too. Wow. Anyway, it's very gloomy today and cold. Um, I think it's 
why it's going to be like this all day. And then, you remember I said on Saturday I wanted to go with Samantha to go walk around. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's going to pour oh. the entire day. So it's supposed to start raining in the middle of the night on Friday into Saturday morning, you, you know. what, don't mention the tour. Let her, let her find out that Saturday is raining all day. Well, I don't want our hopes to be up, so we'd rather just tell her. So you'd rather just deal with her attitude? Yeah, it's fine. But we All can right. still drive around and look at lights because it's not going to rain in the night. Ah, but it is going to rain the entire day. So everything's going to be sopping wet. So walking around and doing... It's just not in the cards. But we can still drive around our, in our neighborhood and look at the lights. Yeah, so that's that. I mean, it's going to be warm too. It's going to be like 62 degrees. Wow. Ugh. Listen, I know a lot of people like mild weather, but when it's December, I'm not I'm not down for the mild weather. 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 Yes, we get enough weather. Right, we get enough mild weather in the fucking summertime when we're sweating our fucking ass off. Summers have been brutal where you don't even want to fucking leave your house. So we could deal with the mild weather that I don't want to deal with it now. This is when you're supposed to have cold weather. Can we have it? This is Jersey, you know. Like, we don't live in South Carolina. All right, so it's like 115. Oh, God. 123. I'm, like, totally off. Um, we did what we needed to do as far as, you know, getting rid of that stuff. Uh, Dana is prepping stuff for dinner. She's not cooking yet. Show them the tomahawk. It's in there. I. Oh, damn good. it. That's what I was getting to. Oh, I don't know. Fuck. Well, I don't know. See, this is what happens when she talks. You need to talk. Anyway, um, I do have to bring Austin to work at 3, before 3, and um, we need to go over to Mom, Mom and Pops because um, they want us to do something over there with them. Um, but what I was getting to before Dana so rudely interrupted. Very rude. Well, right now she's um, making a uh, turnip au gratin. I just sliced up. As thin as I could, some turnips. Um, I need to make more mayo. And Dana was getting um, the lemon juice that I needed. I had to put stuff back. And this is the lovely sight I saw. Let me show you. Don't mind all the mess in there. There's a mess. The fucking fridge. Look at this. Oh my god, right? I know. All that fat. Either you're a fat person or you're not. Not that way. I mean, either you like the fat or you don't. I I, don't. I love the fat. Nope. Dana does not. But isn't that sexy? Nope. Yes. Yes. Nope. Isn't that pretty? I cannot wait. Whoops. Now, uh, the bone was like pretty much falling off. So Dana just took it off. And yeah, only because it's not the type of bone that left. you would think. Like it's not through the middle of the meat where it would Keep the tenderness you guys know what a tomahawk is like, right? The what, a, out, what a tomahawk looks like. Yeah, it's hanging on the outside. But like right here. Dana. Arlo. Dana, Dana's Darlo. Right here. Arlo. Remind me to put it right here. Yes. What a tomahawk steak looks like. So, um, mm. I'm excited for that. Dana's going to make a chicken breast because she already knows she ain't going to like it. No. I already mm. am and not probably going to like it. I, I, but, I will have a piece to try it. Tonight is actually very special tonight. Tonight is casual Wednesday. Because we are some boozy bitches. We is. Oh, See, and by the way, we, on. we won that. Well, Arlo won that. We we did not buy no fucking tomahawks. No, we yeah. I, I won it like last year. We had it in the freezer mm -hmm. for a long time. It was um uh, made, made for you. Made, made you hungry? Made you hungry. I'm so sorry. Made you hungry. Oh, my God. <laughs> There was a giveaway, and um, I <laughs> I had entered it, and I won it, and we're super happy. I'll see if we can find the um, the clips, maybe. A lot of clips we're putting in, huh? I mean, if you guys are on Instagram, I don't know if you guys remember from last summer. If not, I'll try and put it here somewhere. Dana, remember to put a mark so Arlo can put the giveaway she won. So, doorbell rang, and I answered it, obviously. And it was a box from Made You Hungry. This is a giveaway that Arlo entered. 
and she won all of this meat. Yeah. Let me show you what's here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop talking because eventually I'll still fuck up. Yes, that is true. See you later. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So, um, I cut up the uh, um, turnips, right? And Dana had made a cheese sauce. And then now she put it into a little baking dish. Uh, it was cut by hand, so, you know, they're uneven, but whatever. Little baking dish, and then cheese sauce, and then well, she's gonna, gonna put, put some uh, sh shredded Velveeta. Oh, but there you the, go. The kind in the bag, not the block, and then some of those pork rinds on top. Yes, we still have it. Mhm. Mm Freaking love it. I think she's trying to find the Velveeta. Da, yeah, da, 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 da. Okay, so she's gonna put this on top of there. And then put these on top of and that. then in the oven for probably like 350 for a half hour. There you go. And then while she's <laughs> I was waiting for it. That's why I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I'll wait for it because I didn't say nothing. I'm gonna make some mayo. She's making fun of me for yesterday because Hurry up, god damn it. I can't speak. I don't know if you guys want to see me making mayo, so should I show them making I mayo? I don't care what the fuck you do, just maybe put them on silent. And there it is. Nice, thick, creamy, homemade mayo. See the chill? All right, so we have to go to, yes, we have to go to Ma and Pops. Uh, I had to help them with um, setting their iPad up for uh, Zoom. They had no idea, none whatsoever. Hold uh, on. Mm. You already know. I'm not very. Okay, so they had no idea I was setting up, setting it up for them. I don't know if you could hear the uh, the nails on the uh, linoleum, but that was uh, Chloe. So Dana just took all the pans out of the oven because she's gonna put. Mr. Tommy Hawk in there soon. And then those are the uh, turnip au gratin. Is that it? For now, I guess so. Dana said, oh my god. Holy. But it's, look, nice and soft. See that? Did you see that? Babe, okay, please. Okay. Let me show you this. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, look. I know you guys have seen it already. I'm add some salt to that. I don't know if I seasoned it or not. The um, turnips au gratin. Ooh, uh, Brussels, that's Dana's chicken. And then... Oh, 
Look Holy at you listening to Spotify while mother. Yeah, it's so much God. better That's if you show exactly them what it really looks like. Oh God! Business here. Look at that. Yeah, your business, whether you have employees or two thousand. Gorgeous. Oh my God! Look at that perfection. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so dinner was absolutely, absolutely fucking delicious. We can hear um, the uh, little, little, little fire trucks because Santa is riding on the fire trucks tonight. I didn't know that. What? I, I don't follow the um, the oh, town yeah. the yeah, town yeah, Facebook. Yeah, I think we're 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 next. You know what's funny? Years ago, before we knew what this road was, we actually were following Santa on this road. And it was like, I was just telling Dan, I was like, do you remember when we were following Santa on this road? She's like, yeah. I don't know. Not funny story, funny story. I'm Whatever. Something. Just want to show you the little lights that we have. Dan is back there somewhere. Next year, I would like to hang lights that way. And then we also have a visitor. Look, it's Santa. He got stuck. It looks different from here. That's a present over there. And that's one of our blow ups. And then our other blow ups. And then a red truck. You know, the red trucks. All right, so I think, um, I think we heard it while, um, while I was further away, so I don't think today's our turn because they can't get everywhere, yeah. you know, so yeah. hopefully they have like two or three nights that they do it and they hit up different parts of the town, Yeah. so oh well. Good Thursday morning. Here's lunch. I'm sure that's what you wanted to see the minute you opened your eyes. How are you doing? Um, I've got a salad, tuna fish, homemade croutons, lots of lettuce, lots of peppers, lots of onions, lots of tomatoes, lots of cucumbers. Anyway, Arlo has, um, chili dogs. There it is. Okay, so here I am. I know you didn't see my face before, but I was a little busy. I made Arlo's... This is her dinner for work, if you're curious. That tomahawk steak last night, these are two pieces that I cut up for her. So she's having a steak salad. Here's the salad. Just, you know, basic red onion. We've got some pepper. We've got some tomato, cucumber, lettuce. I made some of Kendra Holly's from the Dairy Free Keto Cookbook. This is the homemade Caesar. It's fucking delicious. It's our favorite dressing especially from that cookbook because um, we don't really like a lot of things from the cookbook but we do love this dressing so I'm going to pour some of that in here and then there is a half a serving of cheddar cheese and this is sourdough bread just one slice that I toasted up in a little butter added a little salt and she's got some croutons that is her lunch today which is exciting we're at Acme. I need a lot of produce. So I will be getting that. I'm also going to get some sourdough bread. Arlo's over here with me. And Obviously. We're in my car. You can't drive a stick. Yeah, so there's that. <laughs> Stupid fuck. She needs hairspray because she's bougie as fuck. Alright, back from the grocery store. We went to Acme. So we got, uh, this one's for me, the fruit salad, it's just some cantaloupe, honeydew, and watermelon. I needed body wash, because the one I have, I'm kind of sick of. So I had bought two of them, and I'm on the second one already. You know, you just get sick of the same fucking scent. Well, I'm sick of it already. So I'm going to give it to Sam. There's about a half a bottle left. So I got myself this one. Arlo got some hairspray. Uh, raspberries were buy two, get one. And we got blackberries, so the berries were on sale. Uh, this one's for Arlo. It's just mango and strawberry. I got some gluten-free everything crackers for myself. I mean, if Arlo wants them, she, I doubt if she'll eat them, though. She's not into that. Bitch, I didn't even offer you any. 
Yeah, exactly, asshole. Uh, carrots, baby cut carrots. These are pretty much for, you know, us and for the piggies. I got these little purple potatoes here. I'm doing like a roasted vegetable situation tonight with some chicken breast. Um, I'll always get shrimp when we go out because we eat a lot of shrimp. Uh, sourdough bread because we ran out and this is fucking delicious. If you've never had sourdough bread, you are missing. You are missing out on it. It's so good. Some spring mix back there. Um, little avocados. I like that they have the small ones. We did have a regular butternut squash, but I was like, let's just get the pre-cut because it really is a pain in my ass to cut. Um, and that, the, the, you know, whole one is pretty expensive too. So I was like, let's just do this. So this is already washed and cut up for you. Some leeks. I will be making a soup with that. Romaine hearts, a big ass thing of kale for the piggies. Some monsters. We haven't had the orange flavor in a really long time. This is what kind of started us on the whole monster kick. Kick. This is the first one we ever had and it was so freaking good. Tomatoes, garlic, celery parsley, peppers, um, one English cucumber, some more mushrooms, light cream. These are for the kids, just some Minute Maid juices. Um, chicken breast was on sale. Uh, as you can see, buy one, get one. So we got two of those, some diet peach snapple, and then these are our loaves. Uh, I don't even know what kind of cut of meat this is. Uh, beef rib roast bone in. I mean, this shit is thick as fuck. So she got two of those because she loved the tomahawk I made so much. Now she's got an itch that she needs to scratch. She loves red meat. Uh, and then we got some hot Americano with some steamed heavy cream when we were there. Because, I mean, the Starbucks is in the store. And that's it. Oh, and water right there. And that's it. That's all. I'm going to show this on Instagram because sometimes I don't show them our hauls anymore and I'm sure they miss it. So it is Christmas, the season to give. It's Friday night. Today has been one of those days where I just didn't want to do a fucking thing. Let's just be honest. I did not go for a walk. Mm -mm. This is diet Snapple. I don't know. I didn't want anything to do with anything today. But that's okay, right? You're allowed to have days like that. I'm trying to finish this because I want to go lay down. I'm like an old lady. It's literally 8.50 and I want to go lay down. I'm going to shut the tree off without falling. Oh. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but... Our white guinea pig, Polly, he passed away in August. Um, it was very sad. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you won't know exactly like what happened. But he was very sick. And Arlo made an ornament. Here, it's metal. She made an ornament with, with him. Look at him right there. So that's Vinny with the black, white, and brown. And Polly's the white one. We're gonna put this on the tree tomorrow. We're gonna put our new ornaments on the tree tomorrow. I don't know if I showed you, but you'll see them tomorrow if you didn't see them. But oh, I miss him so much. He was, he was such a character. He was so, he was just like a very sweet little piggy. And don't get me wrong, all of them are very sweet. But he was very special. He was special. Um, he was just such a good boy. I miss him. I miss him terribly. We buried him in the yard. <sighs> it's just, uh, it makes me crazy because I hate, I hate when you lose a fur baby. I don't know where he is. What are you looking at? I ain't looking for you. I know where you are. Where the freak is he?
there you are. Underneath the table. I, I see you. He's going buck wild with his mouse. <laughs> Plus, he's ready for bed. He's so funny. Because he, I give him treats before he goes to bed, right? So he gets his little temptations before he goes to sleep. He doesn't get treats throughout the day because I don't want him to be like overweight. Because most of my cats, um, the ones that passed away that I had for years and years, yes, they lived a very long life, but they were very overweight. I mean, I was a new cat owner when I, you know, first got them, so I didn't know any better. I know better now. Just, you don't overfeed them. Georgie has his food. Bro, what are you doing? Are you going crazy? Georgie has his dry food out all day long. He gets um, the little Shebas. You, like, snap them in half. There's a half and then a half. He gets one of those in the morning, like a half, and then he gets the other half at night. His dry food is out all day, and then at night when he goes to sleep, the dry food gets put away. Because you know why? They overeat, and cats are known to overeat, and then throw the fuck up. So, we don't do that. He gets his food back in the morning when he gets his wet, and he can eat his dry Bro, what is your deal? George, he's gonna start kneading the dough. Georgie, George, George. Hello, sir. Hi.